<laughs> oh my god, I have never seen a sky like this in my entire life. <laughs> We've hit the fucking jackpot here. Holy shit. <laughs> So if you follow my Instagram, you'll know that the other day I posted a photo on there and it was a long exposure of my car going down this long country road and I managed to capture the sky in it as well, like the stars, the galaxies. I got a lot of positive feedback on that so I decided I'm actually going to make a video on it and in this video I'm going to be showing you that you don't need a high-end camera to be able to shoot astrophotography. Little known fact about what I use, I use a Canon 700D and most of the time I just use a kit lens because I've only got this lens and I've only got the 50mm lens to go with it. So for this photo, we are out in the middle of the countryside and we found this long, straight road which is going to be perfect for the car trails that we want. Especially if you're doing astrophotography, I hope to God that you're using a tripod because if you're not using a tripod, then you 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 just it's just fucked. <laughs> Don't swear! You need to stop swearing. <laughs> Honestly, it's just fucked. If you're not using a tripod, you need to use a tripod to do any sort of, not any sort of night photography, but astrophotography. You need a tripod. Is you reversing that quickly up here towards me? <laughs> so Meg's saying I need the phone out for this one. You've seen the shot, yeah? Yeah. And it looks good? It looks so sick. Look at it. Oh my god, don't look you, at that. Don't you think that they look so much more like Oh my god. Like you god. can see the definition of them. Look and at look, the stars look, in yeah, it. Yeah, I know. And like look at your number plate as well. That turned out. The imprint so looks so good. sick, doesn't it? I love that it the way it trails off into yeah. nothing. Shit! I look told at that. You. That is so I good. You. Yeah. Right. So before we get stuck into the photos, there's just a couple of things that I want to go through with you that I feel like are most important when you're shooting astrophotography. So first of all, when you want to find a good location for shooting the stars, if you're in a city, there's just going to be no chance you can do it. Just, just no chance at all because of the amount of light pollution. Ideally, you want to find a place with like very little or just no light pollution whatsoever. There's plenty of places you can look online at this. Just go onto Google and search for dark skies map. And it'll show you exactly where there's loads of light pollution and where there's very little light pollution. So just bear that in mind. If, if you want to see the stars at their brightest, at their best, you know you want to see the most stars as possible, then you want to definitely keep that in mind. Uh, the second thing that I want to talk to you about, which is really important, and I found this out myself, uh, that is to take into consideration what the moon is doing, okay? So by that I mean obviously the moon goes through phases, doesn't it? So you go from a full moon down to like a full crescent and then back to a full moon. And those cycles last 14 days, all right? I found that when the moon is at a full crescent, then there's no light pollution coming from the moon either. Now I actually shot with a full moon about two weeks before this video, which is, you know, exactly 14 days and it was a full moon and it honestly it really affected the quality of the photos there was just so much light pollution coming from the moon there was one half of the sky that was just completely blown out i'm also just going to tell you the settings that i used quickly for these photos before i show you them uh, for all of them i used an iso of 800 i used a shutter speed of 15 seconds and an f-stop of 3.5 okay when shooting astrophotography you want your aperture to be as wide as possible so I was shooting on 3.5, uh, that's as low as this lens goes. Unfortunately, if I had a 1.4 or 1.8, that would be absolutely blessed. But you also need a wide angle as well, so there's that. So here's the first photo that I got, and this is the main one that I was attempting to get on today's shoot, okay? It turned out really well, actually. I love the way that I framed it. I've got the light trails down at the bottom, and I've just got the negative space above it, which is the sky, obviously. I also love the way that the car is framed in front of the photo and then the light trails come from that. And the way that I did that was as soon as the exposure started, I left my car there for about two or three seconds first before I started driving. And then that way it left 
like an imprint on the back of the car. Now, moving on to the second shot that I got. When I got to the location, I looked up and that's where the galaxy was. And obviously for that car shot, I had to shoot sort of forwards. But the main portion of the galaxy, the main portion of the stars was like directly above pretty much. So I needed to get some sort of shot that was, you know, facing up that way so I could just capture all of those stars. And what I did was parked up my car, uh, stood on the roof of my car and did the exposure like that. Uh, you'll notice that I am slightly blurry because it was an exposure of like 15 seconds So I had to stand completely still for 15 seconds straight. Yeah, like you can see you can literally see a lot more of the stars this time And it just turned out really fucking good. I even managed to capture a couple of planes going like through the sky as well Which I found pretty cool uh, I'm pretty sure they're planes. They're not shooting stars But if you are lucky enough you can actually capture shooting stars like this and I've seen it done before and the third shot that I got, I was actually driving on the way home and it was about five minutes from the location I was at. And I seen these electricity poles. I don't know, I just thought it'd look cool. Like, it's just, it's just simple, isn't it? It's just nice, it's like, it's simple, but it's like really effective. And in this one, actually, you can see more of the galaxy than in any of the other two shots. Like, this was the main portion of the galaxy. And, you know what, I've never seen anything like that in my life. Like, it... I've gone out trying to shoot Astro before and it's just never looked as insane as it did. Like I'm, I'm so lucky to have seen something like that. And it just makes me want to go out and do this more. And I, you know, I'm really looking forward to doing that sort of thing again. Thanks for watching today's video. I'm sorry if the B wop, B wop. I'm sorry if the B roll was a little bit crappy because it was pitch black and it's just not a lot you can do when you're shooting in pitch black. Like you can get photos, but just shooting B roll just does not work. Uh, I tried to make it work anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, leave a like, drop a comment, and make sure you hit subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.